Hello Internet and welcome to another episode of Automotive Carnage. In today's episode, we build ourselves a fence. What? What? That's right. We got graphics now. But seriously though, I made a pact with my wonderful wife that I would only ever have one project car at a time. Otherwise my backyard would just be full of half-finished wrecks that no one likes to side on. Uh, unfortunately, now that we've finished Stalin, um, I've got a big empty space. Uh, but that big empty space does have a big hole on the boundary right by the main road where we live. And uh, that kind of concerns us a little bit with uh, the safety of the gear in the shed and, uh, and also family safety. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you around and uh, yeah, we're going to build ourselves a fence. Right, so as you all know, this is the space that I have to, uh, to work with. And you may have noticed in previous videos, there's actually no doors on my shed, uh, which does consume me a little bit. And right outside that gate, um, that is the main road to our nice little town. Um, this to the left here is the fence in question. As I said, nice big hole that animals and or people come through. And uh, it's currently that stack of tires and that pole there holding this fence up. It's just leaning and it's just rough. Um, so we're going to fix that today. I've pre previously fixed uh, the first half. And we're just going to continue that across and do corrugated iron right through till we get to the shed. And I think in another episode, we might actually build some doors for this place. <laughs> Could be a good idea, but we'll get there. Uh, so yeah, we'll jump on the other side of the fence now, and I'll show you what we've done over there. All right, so this is the other side. It's, uh, as you say, it's pretty old. It's been here since the 70s. So it's time for an update. Um, simple construction, post, couple of rails, screw the tin to it, and we're done. We've got the string line, already started digging a few holes. Uh, one I have finished, the other one, we're gonna need to use a jackhammer, baby. So we're gonna get some heavy machinery out here and give that a crack. In the meantime, let's get some B-roll of a fence, because I mean, who's ever done beauty shots of an old timber fence? This would be interesting. First time doing B-roll. Who would fall down a rickety old fence like this? I suppose you gotta start somewhere. Let's hit it! Let's get into my favorite tool. <sighs> I tell you what, we start doing jobs and high plaps, it gets done a hell of a lot quicker. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah, we've got a lot of our holes here. Look how square that is. Damn, boy, that's awesome. Uh, ground is just so tough out here. That's why you need one of these puppies. Um, it's pretty much rocks. It ain't soil. It's just rocks and iron ore. It's insane. Anyway, that hole's done. Here's one I prepared earlier. That one wasn't so hard. That was actually a bit soft, that one. Um, I'm quite surprised about that. But anyway, we have one pole. We have two poles. We have a string line. What we need now is some good old rock hard concrete. All right, the recipe for some good rock hard concrete on the outback is take one, dilapidated old wheelbarrow. Then you want to add yourself two bags of your finest, what? What did they do to it? Uh, cement. Then you're going to find yourself some rocks to add to it. And then last but not least, a big ass pile of sand. That should do it, about do it. There you go, out back concrete. Oh, it's concrete over my tripod now. Alright, 
So there we go. That's one post in the ground, nice and level in both directions. Fantastic. Move on to the next one, uh, hole number two. Um, now, I hope we have enough concrete left. There's a little bit on the ground there. You want to make it work? All right, and that's it. Uh, job done for today. We'll let this concrete sit, and then we'll come back probably tomorrow, and uh, we'll actually put the, the bars across, and we'll put the iron on, and uh, we should have done by the weekend. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome to the next day. Um, as you just seen, we've already started to chop the fence down. Uh, we're just going to do it a little bit by little bit because we've only got enough iron for half the fence today. Uh, we might have to go find some more around town from a few of the locals uh, to finish it off all the way. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're just going to chop the part out, uh, push it over, and then pull our rails across, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so a slight change of plans. This fence is so rickety, we're just going to push the whole thing down and just use whatever we can find. So, cue the push over montage. And there's the old fence, making way for the new fence. So, clean up the ground, made it all even, got our uh, rails on there, ready to go. Now I'll chuck you on hyperlapse and we'll put some sheets up. And there we have it folks, one completed fence. Just got a few more screws to chuck in there, but we'll save you the hassle of trying to watch us do that. And uh, yeah, so you know what that means? That means I can now use this empty space and put a car in here for the next project. Now, I wonder what I should get.